Good evening everyone once again. Uh, welcome to Nelly's uh, favorite CLC fan channel. And uh, this is Pastor Mar Navarosa. And before anything else, I have shown to you the finger number assignments as well as the guitar strings assignment for ease in placing the fingers to play the guitar chords. Okay, so what we are going to teach you tonight is the chord D. Okay, so here is chord D. Uh, chord D is done by pressing okay string number four with our finger number one and then string number one with finger number two and then string number two with finger number three so it looks like this so this is d okay that is d okay it is done by pressing the string number three by finger number one on the second fret and then by pressing string number one by finger number two on the second fret and pressing string number two by finger number three on fret number three so it sounds like this this is d see it and then immediately i'm going to to show you the equivalent sound of d in fret number five okay the equivalent sound of D or the D in fret number five is done like this. Yeah. Or it is done like this. Okay. It is done by pressing all of the strings in fret number five by finger number one. And then we press string number four with finger number two we press uh, string number three by finger number three and we press string number two by finger number four all in fret number seven okay so the, it is this is how it is done so this is our d in fret number five and this is also our D in fret number 2. Okay? So, D minor is formed or is done by transferring our fingers string number 4 by finger number 2 on the second fret. Yeah, this here. And then we press string number 2 by finger number three in the third fret and then we press string number one by finger number one on the first fret so this is how d minor sounds like d7 is done by removing the pressing of string number four so it's like this now this is this is d7 as you can see on the drawing, okay, on the diagram that is uh, placed, okay, on your screen. So this is how it is done. This is D7. And the D7 here will be done like this. Okay, D7 is done by placing a string num finger number two, pressing string number three okay in the second fret and then finger number three is pressing string number one in the second fret and then finger number one is pressing string number two in fret number one so that is d7 okay d minor is done by pressing uh, string number three with finger number two on the second fret and then we press adjust something here. okay we press string number two with finger number three on the third fret and then we press string number one with finger number one on the first fret this is D minor and then uh, the, the D um, minor 
in fret number 5 is done by doing like this. We press all of the strings, okay? We press all of the strings in fret number 5 by finger number 1. And then we press uh, string number 4 with finger number 3 on the 7th fret. And then we press uh, string number number 3 with finger number 4 on the 7th fret and then we press string number 2 with finger number 2 in fret number 6 so this is how uh, D minor look like and sounds like okay if you can notice it doesn't have much difference with the D minor here that is D minor, this is D minor, this is D7, and this is D7 also, this is D major, and this is D major also. Now we do uh, D minor 7. Okay, by doing uh, D minor first, and then we remove the small finger or finger number four uh, from pressing uh, string number four. So this is now D minor seven. Okay, so let's have a little bit of a drill. Okay, let's go back first to the original position of D. So D is done like this. Like that, that is D, and then D7, and then D minor. Okay, the D chord in the fifth fret is done like this, and then D7. D minor and then D minor 7 by removing the smallest finger okay so that's it thank you very much for watching I bet you better master this because you will be using this uh, very much when we will be doing al already our playing of guitar while singing please do not forget to Write your comments or suggestions. Have your friends and relatives also or church mates, okay, to subscribe also so that together we will learn how to play the guitar. Our objective, uh, actually one of our objectives in teaching uh, this is that so that we can use this in praising and worshiping the Lord in our churches or even in our uh, private moments. So thank you very much. Have a blessed day. God bless you. God bless you all.